Let's talk a little bit about neurogenic shock. Neurogenic shock is all about the damage of the cervical spine here and the inability to send transmissions through the cervical spine from the medulla, which is going to control sympathetic and parasympathetic response within the body. So when we have that damage of nerve transmission, then ultimately we're going to see symptoms below that area. And now what's going to happen is that we're going to have a decrease of systemic vascular resistance. Systemic vascular resistance is all about the fluid pressure against the vessels. So we see vessel dilation, which is going to create a decrease in the resistance, a great decrease in the pressure, and ultimately leading to a decrease in blood pressure. So that's the problem here when it comes to neurogenic shock. But there's another piece to it is that because we're not able to send transmissions from the medulla to the rest of the body, we ultimately are going to have no compensation meaning that we're not going to typically we're going to have things like increased heart rate, increased stroke volume, and increased cardiac output to compensate for the decreasing blood pressure because of the decrease in stroke volume. That doesn't occur in neurogenic shock because the inability to transmit signals from the medulla to the rest of the body because of the damage of the cervical spine. Hey EMT students, if you love our videos here, then you're going to love our illustrated notes. It's chock full of things like cheat sheets, anatomy physiology, and literally everything in between that you can imagine. This is 21 pages long and it's chock full of really cool illustrated notes for you. If you would love this package, all you need to do is hit the link in our bio and download them from there.